A while ago we looked at bridging through 10 when doing subtraction. We're now going to use the same idea to bridge through a multiple of 10 when doing subtraction. Let's start by reminding ourselves of bridging through 10. If we have to do something like 13 subtract 5, we could have, just, of course, just start at 13 and count back 5, but we want to be a bit quicker than that, and we want to use our special number of 10 in order to help us get quicker. So we're going to start with 13 in our head, and we know we've got to take away 5. But we're going to jump immediately from 13 back to 10. Well, what do we need to take away to get from 13 back to 10? We need to take away these three fingers. And so we'll get back to 10 in our head, but we've still got two more fingers to take away. And 10 subtract 2 gives us 8. So 13 subtract 5 is 8. We can use the same idea if we want to do 63 subtract 5. We have 63 in our head and we want to take 5 fingers away. Now this time we're going to immediately jump back from 63 to the nearest multiple of 10 below. And that will be 60. So to jump back from 63 to 60 We've got to take those three fingers away. We'll get to 60 in our head, but we've still got two more of those five fingers to take away. And because we know that 10 minus 2 is 8, we know that 60 minus 2 will give us 58.